Hello, nerdlings. Hey, nerdlings. So, Marcello's Toy Room actually tagged us to show off our top 10 toys. And but let me tell you, if anyone is going <laughs> to be talking about toys, it is Marcello. You have got to see yeah. that awesome coffee table he has. Oh, I mean, the flag, the, the G.I. Joe USS flag, because that big aircraft carrier Honestly, that thing though, is Honestly, though, what awesome. else could you do with it other than make it into a coffee table. Hey, that's the coolest <laughs> coffee table I know. ever. I would love that thing. Honestly, Man, yeah. That's, totally jealous of that one. That's pretty So make sure that you check out his video of his top 10 toys. I will leave a link in the description below so you can go over there. And uh, as for us, now now she <laughs> she has some toys, just some. So uh, just, I didn't just a, just a little bit. I didn't pick 10. I just picked out a couple because you know I I wanted to be in the video too. So I'm gonna leave it up to her. But I'm still gonna show off just a few of mine. It was definitely a challenge <laughs> to try to narrow it down to 10 toys. That so yeah, I don't know that these are the top. These, these are, are not just, my top toys because these are I- These 10 toys. I love all of my toys equally. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> no, um, it just, it was basically the toys that I liked for one reason or another that I wanted to highlight, I suppose, because it was just too hard to narrow down like what is a top toy to me, so. Well, I'm going to start, because of her, I wanted to share my very first Jason Voorhees figure. Aww. And it is the one that she got I for did. me. And I have been collecting Jason figures ever since. I, I love getting all the different figures from the different movies. But this one, of course, has a very <laughs> special place in my heart. Aww. Not only that, but I mean, he looks really awesome. He looks very cool with all the, the tattered clothing on yeah, him and the everything. Burnt, almost burnt looking skin on him. So, yeah. I guess I maybe fibbed a little bit. Maybe I will show my most prized possession. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? It's the best Deadpool ever. Wham! Get that out of here. <laughs> Woo! All right. Anyway, no, but seriously, <laughs> I just had to throw a little, uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds Deadpool jokey action in there. Okay. So, like I said, in absolutely no particular order, I thought <laughs> I would show these off. So, I am a avid Star Wars fan, Star Trek II, so I, I love them both. This is not the exact figure I had when I was a little girl, but this is, um pretty much this is the figure it's just not that one i when i got her i got her in a garage sale i had no idea who she was actually and she and a uh, catwoman action figure actually played together all the time <laughs> until i wasn't until an adult that i realized that that was princess leia and i had sold it in a garage sale like an idiot so i had to track down one as an adult so mine did not have the the uh plastic little vest that she wears in the movie, although her bruise isn't flat. Another one that I had that I thought I would show off, also going in the vein of Sweet and the first action figure that Tom ever bought me, actually, and this is a duo, is uh, him and I both absolutely love X-Men. We both love the 90s X-Men cartoon. Yeah. My favorite characters were Rogue and Gambit. His favorite characters, Rogue and Gambit, so it was like match made in heaven when we met. So he was at a garage sale one day and bought found these for me and they actually both still work they still have their little their little action buttons still work here we go you gotta get her yeah yeah action and then his works too with his little key -all. and how about that his leg is not permanently stuck no in that it's not it still still makes the kicky motion I, I wanted to add real quick a friend of mine he had the exact same gambit who's like was stuck like that and he said whatever he would play with it as a kid, he would always come up with some reason for Gambit to be doing the splits <laughs> to explain it away. The other thing is when we first started dating, I actually went to Italy not too long after we started dating. And I actually took this Gambit with me so that I could have Tom with me everywhere I went. And I actually took a couple of pictures with Gambit, you know. Mon Dieu, Gambit, he's been all over the world. He has sure. been all over the world. <laughs> All so, right. what do you got? Well, another figure that I wanted to show off is one from my past. This was my very first Link figure. He's so cartoony and cute. And I found him, <laughs> uh, I think I found him maybe at Babbage's. 
a Ooh, long time ago, kind us. of a precursor to GameStop <laughs> and everything. Now, the funny thing is, this guy, he has so little movement. He moves his head, and his arms, they move at the shoulder. <laughs> but it. that is it, not the elbow. Does his uh, sword go in a scabbard? It does not. I was oh. always disappointed. His mm -hmm. legs kind of move, so he can kind of like shuffle walk. So, uh, my first link based on Ocarina of Time Link. Uh, he's got a nice first, face job on First him. of many. Yeah, yeah, he looks good, but, yeah. uh, you know, he's he's so stiff. Just awkwardly. I'm going to save you, Delta! <laughs> anyway, another one, like I said, in no particular order that I like is my uh, Harley Quinn bombshell. I just absolutely love the detail about her. Uh, Funny enough, I'm not trying to build some brownie points, but Tom actually did get this for me for Christmas one year. And I just, I love the little Batsy hanging from her gun and everything. Just the detail all over her. And that's kind of where I go with my toys is the way they look. Their detail, if they're pretty in the face, if they're a female, you know, just kind of what, what's kind of unique about them. So, so that's why I chose her. I know the good toys to buy. He does. I love my bombshells. And then, kind of going along, it's she's not a bombshell, but she is Lady Loki. And the reason I went with her is, one, Loki is one of my absolute favorite characters. I love Loki. Tom Hiddleston made an amazing Loki. But I just really liked how they adapted her into a female. I just thought she was really pretty. Um, and her face is just gorgeous. She just has a... I don't know who the face model was for her, but they did a pretty did a dead dumb job. job. Yeah, and I mean, she looks pretty close to what she does in the comics. I mean, they did a pretty good job. Well, another one for me is I was quite the Dragon Ball Z fan back in the day. And even though I was always more of a fan of Goku, I really, really loved this Krillin figure. I mean, he can move so easily. He can do like this Matrix, Matrix stuff. <laughs> you know, his arms have some good motion and everything. And I actually used to use this figure in uh, quite an epic line of stop motion animation that I did. And I used him because, one, I mean, come on, if someone's going to kick a lot of ass, it's going to be Krillin. <laughs> and then, two, because of the range of motion that he had, he was just too perfect. And I mean, yeah, it's Krillin. You know, he's always, always out there with the big dogs whenever a fight comes along. Is he Krillin like a villain? He, oh, he's Krillin the villains. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> okay, anyway... All right, well, on the same Marvel line, we've got Deadpool. Of course, this she's got to pick a Deadpool. actual figure. good Deadpool. He's got a lot of articulation. I mean, he's one of the Marvel uh, select uh, legend figures, so he's, I really, I really like him. I like, I have a lot of fun posing him in different positions, doing different action moves, and sometimes I'll come home from work and he'll have put Deadpool in many a places. There's... Oh, we have a lot of fun with Deadpool. Oh, yeah. He was... He, he harasses everyone. He really does. <laughs> For a long time, he was living in my charmed attic, harassing uh, Piper, Phoebe, and, and uh, Paige. Plus, he's got pouches. All the pouches. He does have all the pouches. And unlike a Liefeld creation, he has feet. He does have feet. Check it out. And then another figure that I've recently gotten into is my Spider-Gwen. I absolutely love her character. I love the way she looks. And this was a fun um, fun one. You can't... I, I didn't bring her head. I didn't even think about it. But she does have a head where it's where she doesn't have her mask on. So you can have her with her long blonde hair. Head. Nice. So yeah, that's kind of neat. So And she's got a lot of nice articulation to her. I really do love the Marvel Legends figures. And that's a, a ma good majority of my toys are the Marvel Legends figures. She's got quite the collection. I do. There. I have over a hundred. Someone someone on Twitter made me count one time and Tom was like, oh, oh yeah, she's probably got over, you know, 50 or whatever. And then someone said, no, seriously, count. And I did. I think I was like to like 9, 10, 110, 111 or something like that. I don't know. I got a lot. Well, another one that I have is just kind of a, a silly thing. A cousin long ago gave me this car. Uh, I've <laughs> never particularly been into Porsches, but I was like, alright, whatever. And I came across these two little figures of a ninja and Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, because that's who you think would be together in a car. But they were uh, <laughs> the little capsule toys for like a quarter or something. They happen to fit perfectly in the car. I love the fact that they're hanging out the window. But mm -hmm. the thing is, I chose this just because I have had this thing for so long and these guys have been in this car forever it's the never-ending road trip and yeah you know crash and a ninja 
just, you know, speeding down the highway, because why not? In a Porsche, 959. <laughs> okay, next I have um, an action figure that I actually had no idea who she was when I bought her. Um, Angela. I do know who she is now, though. And um, I just thought she was the coolest looking thing, and obviously us redheads, you know, we gotta stick together. That's what drew me to her, was her flaming red hair, and then her outfit was just kind of interesting. She's got this, like cape skirt i don't know what this is back here enough to show her booty doesn't show i guess i'm not sure because she doesn't mind being all exposed up front the front's fine yeah the front's now. totally fine but anyway i really really liked her and so then i started researching her and learned who she was and now i really have gotten into angela i've read angela from her origins in spawn and reading her now into you know marvel and how she crossed over into marvel and all kinds of interesting things so i wanted to show off this action figure because I'm always telling you guys, if you see a toy and you like it, don't, just pick it up. It doesn't matter if you know who she is or not, because it can get you into something in the future, which is what Angela did. So that's why I thought I would show her off. Okay, so I have another duo here, my Glenn and my Maggie. They have always been my favorite characters on The Walking Dead, and I was super bummed be that they killed Glenn. I know they killed him in the comics. But there's a lot of things in the TV show that they changed from the TV show to the comics. So I thought, maybe they'll maybe they'll let that go. They did not. So, needless to say, I got I have my two action figures, and Glenn will forever be alive, and Glenn and Maggie will forever be together. So everywhere in the house they always have to be together. They can pose and do whatever they want, but they always have to be together. It's too cute that you do uh, couples with your toys. I do. I do do couples with toys. And another one for me is actually a plush, and this is a Vivi figure from Final Fantasy IX. And I got this free from Squaresoft. I don't even remember exactly the details, but it was back in, uh, I think it was like 2000 because it was the Summer of Adventure. But Squaresoft had some kind of thing online, and I believe if you signed up for it, you could get a free Vivi. I signed up, and I got them. But I have had this guy ever since then, obviously. And I really like him because he looks great. He definitely looks just like Vivi. They did a fantastic job with him, uh, down to his little buckle. And of course, his little uh, like rope braids, I guess, right there holding his vest closed. But I always liked how he looked. Definitely a unique plush toy to have. And, you know, kind of a cool piece of history because, hey, this was uh, from Squaresoft, not Square Enix. Now, the last toys that I've got, like I said, in no particular order, is my favorite doctor. This is my doctor, Dr. David Tennant. I guess he's not really a doctor, <laughs> but anyway, Tenth Doctor and my absolute favorite companion ever, Rose. And they always hang out together because, you know, real, when, when, when Doctor became a human, they got to... <laughs> go off and have fun together so yeah they even went to go see their uh, movie in the theater the 50th, the 50th anniversary, anniversary. Yeah. yes so there's those guys here i'll let you play with them and last but not least oh no oh no we killed everybody it's a bad idea <laughs> this was a bad idea anyway is my ultimate favorite marvel character Scarlet Witch. I absolutely love her, and I think she looks really good. She actually really looks like Miss Olsen, and Vision, just because she's got to have her man, so, and because, you know, he's, he's, hees not dead. He's not dead. <laughs> they See, really do a great job on the Marvel They did. Legends. The Marvel Legends, I mean, he looks just like him, and I actually like how they made his cape. I don't know if you can see through that, but they actually made his cape see through so... I thought that was neat. So these are these these are probably I guess I could safely say these are these two are probably up there with my favorite toys. Nice. I really I really do love those. All right, so I have one more to show off. He's a little too big to sit on the table. Oh my goodness! Yes, it's the GoBot Command module. <laughs> um, okay, so the thing is. GoBots were ridiculous. They were uh, super simplified Transformer knockoffs. And the only reason I'm really showing this off is because I just always thought this was really cool. Obviously, it can uh, go down like this, and it is on wheels. Okay, oh. it's not too squeaky. 
But then you can bring his legs Boom, out. Boom, he's a robot. And it's like he's one of the uh, AT, are they ATATs? Yeah, ATATs. So, robot camels. Hey, robot camels. <laughs> now, I will say it is kind of neat though, because he's got a face right there. <laughs> and then you would actually open this up and I have some unfortunately not all the pieces but there is an elevator that kind of works right there and then you have these little pieces here that actually uh, slide into the sides so you can visit the various places I always like the I think it's on this side I think it's the cafeteria because it has like weird foods there Maybe we'll get a closer shot of that. And you can put people up here. And it's the strategic area. So yeah, you know, you can turn it around. Anyway, he was just always kind of neat looking because like I said, he looked like they ripped him off of Star Wars, which they probably did because they're robots and they're ripping off everything. <laughs> here, turn so you can look at everyone. Oh, he's creepy. Look at them. He's very creepy. Well. I have an honorable mention because he's not really a toy, he's more of a stuffed animal. This right here is Teddy. And as stereotypical as it sounds, I, this has been my teddy bear since I was uh, six years old. My grandparents on my dad's side bought him for me one trip down in Pensacola. And for a really long time, I slept with him every night. He went with me everywhere. Um, probably up until, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old or so. And then he was starting to get a little ratty, so I put him up on the shelf because I didn't want him to get too destroyed. But, uh, he used to be soft and fluffy, but as you can see, he's, he's kind of ratty now. He's well he is very, very He's well not loved. ratty. And his nose used to be velvet, but it's worn down. It's, it's beyond threadbare. <laughs> but he is, he is my most prized possession, I would probably say, because... He was given to me by my grandparents, which are now both passed away, and he has, he, yeah, he's been on multiple trips with me, slept with me, so, and he's still just as soft and cuddly as <laughs> I remember him. <laughs> well, nerdlings, of course we always love to hear your comments on anything. Thank you, Marcello, for tagging us. Um, I don't think we're going to tag anyone because sometimes it's hard to keep up with who has and who hasn't been tagged. Yeah. However, I'm officially throwing out this tag to all of you guys who collect toys to share with us your top 10 toys and it doesn't even have to be your top 10 favorites it can be your top 10 anything yeah. and hey it doesn't even have to be 10 numbers are just numbers but uh let us know what kind of toys do you have that are uh, pieces of your childhood uh -huh. or ones that got you into collecting certain things like you know jason or link here mm -hmm. or ones that uh you know were knockoffs but hey they're just too cool and weird to get rid of. <laughs> and uh, do you couple up any of your toys? Because Glenn and Maggie got to be together forever. Always forever. So, again, leave those comments down below. Feel free to give the video a like if you happen to like it. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe because we're always putting videos out there. And you would definitely know that if you click on that notification bell because it will let you know when a new video has dropped. Ding, 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 ding. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to let you know that a video is dropped on YouTube and to see what we're doing out and about in the real world. And also, don't forget, we've got merch for you guys. We've got, you know, this lovely closer upper shirt. We've got our logo. So head over to Tee Public and, you know, get your do you nerd stuff on. All right, nerdlings. I will just say I tag you. <laughs> Bye, Bye, nerdlings. nerdlings. So anyway, make sure you check out his video. I will leave a link to the uh, description of his video. Anyway. And how about that? <laughs> nice. Oh no. And also, I have, this is another duo that I have. I have my, um... Glenn and Maggie. Glenn and Maggie, thank you, okay. <clears throat>